Hey, what's up YouTube? Charles Mabe here. Today we're gonna do something fun. Um, and this video is gonna come with some disclaimers, but first I'll tell you why I'm doing it and I guess why I'm doing it really, that's it. Um, so, I hope these didn't get wet. Oh no, that'd be bad. Um, so I made a video a while back and a girl had messaged me about getting married soon and she wanted to clean up her fiance's dreads and whatnot in the video I'd mentioned in an extreme case, if you need to tame the frizz really quickly, or you wanted to clean up your dreads really nice and quick and fast, and you didn't have wax, whatever, it was extreme condition, you could take a lighter and burn your dreads. Um, and then uh, my, one of my videos was shared on this Facebook group, and people like were criticizing the fact that I said you could burn your dreads and blah, 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 it's dangerous, you could burn your scalp. All this crazy talk, right? And Quite frankly, you can burn your dreads. Now, I don't recommend it. I do not recommend it at all, right? Uh, I only recommend it if it's an extreme case, obviously. Now, if you're gonna do for like name, a normal daily kind of maintenance, no, that's just stupid. It's gonna, number one, it smells. Uh, number two, you're burning off some of your hair. Number three, it's not really worth it. But if it's an extreme case and like, hey, you have somewhere to be, you have a wedding, you have photos, whatever, whatever the situation is, you don't have the necessities, to make your hair look nice without that issue or without this, you gotta do it. So if you don't have wax, you don't have time to do it, you can burn your dreads. Now, obviously when you do this, you wanna be very careful. You don't wanna burn close to your scalp. Um, you don't wanna set your house on fire. You don't wanna set all your hair on fire. That would be bad. Luckily with dreads, the nice thing is, now here's the thing though, I should still say this, because if you have like really wispy, wild, natural dreads, probably not gonna be the, the right thing for you to do because you have a lot of loose flyaways and you're probably gonna set your whole head on fire. Don't want that. I, on the other hand, I have, I have let these go for a while. So what I've done was here, I just already pre-soaked pre these. So these two right here are dry still. Uh, the rest of these are pretty much soaked and wet. You can see the water still dripping off there, I think. Let's see, uh, yeah. So these are all wet, right? These two are dry. So you can do it on dry or wet hair. Um, I recommend wet hair because obviously if it's wet, it's gonna burn a little less. Um, wet hair will typically just burn off the frizz and leave the rest of the dread nice and nice and uh, intact. Um, but if, yeah, if you have flyaways, if you like like a lot of flyaways, like really crazy wild hair, it's not going to work as well for you. Um, with me, I have tight dreads, clean dreads, tight dreads. Um, just then you have like a little bit of frizz like this, you see right there. So these are the two dry ones. Um, you can see like so I haven't done my hair in a while. I haven't uh, maintained them a lot, so you're gonna see some flyaways along there. Um, some along there, like these aren't bad, and they're totally manageable, and I could live with this, and it's not that big of a deal, but since I recommended it, and since I was criticized so harshly for it, uh, saying how crazy it was, and oh, it's so wild, and you can't do it, you can, you absolutely can. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but you have to make sure, you, A, you're safe when you do it, B, I recommend wetting your hair, C, if you have wild, crazy frizz, don't do it, because you're probably gonna set it all on fire at once, because if you light one part, you could go, now, hopefully if it's wet, it won't do that. Um, but if you have like, like those people have like, you know, like really wispy, wild flyaways everywhere here, there, every, everywhere, it's probably all gonna catch on fire at once. Um, but I'm gonna show you first with the dry dreads, cause I only have two of them that are still dry, these two right here. And then I'll show you with the wet dreads how I do it. Uh, what I recommend is always having two lighters because as you're holding the lighter, it's gonna get really hot. Um, so you wanna put that one down and then have another one stand by. Or even if you wanna just put one down and take your time and come back to it later, that's fine too, but if you want to do it all in one setting, having two lighters is much, much easier. So, here's how you're gonna do it. Now, the trick is this. So you're gonna see some flyways along here, like a little bit there, right? It's not, they're, not bad, they're not bad, right? Um, also, here's the thing too. Now, say you have some thin dreads. Like I have some thin dreads that are like thin. Oh, I was not thin. I have something like so. This one. This one's kind of thin, right? It's a little thinner than the other dreads. Like these are obviously. You can see the thickness. I'm not gonna burn the thin ones because that could, at some point, uh, like even though it's gonna burn off the flyways, there's not a lot going on with this dread. It's pretty thin, right? Some of my dreads are just thinner than the others. Like some are thick, some are thin. That's just how I did my hair. Uh, it's not there anything wrong with them, just they're thin all the way through. Some are thicker all the way through. That's just kind of how when I sectioned it originally, that's what happened and that's how it is. Um, so yeah, you only wanna burn the thicker dreads. If you have really fat dreads all around, burn them off if you want to. Uh, so what you're gonna do is this. You don't want to take a lighter and light it and hold it like this, right? Because that's stupid and you're gonna burn your dread in half and that's just, that's a bad idea. But even with like the dry dread, you can see that I can only burn the frizz. If I, if I hold it at the right uh, height away from the dread, 
Uh, it should be all right. So if you go like this. See that? As you can see, you can see a little bit of right there. So that's burnt just the edge frizz of the dread. Like if I put like, if I go like this, it's gone, right? It's literally just the edge. So I'll show you again. See? And obviously you don't want to keep holding the fire over it. It's real quick, just, just singe, basically you're singeing off the hair. Now, I'd recommend doing this with a window open or when someone's not home because they're probably gonna plant it smells like burnt hair because it will. And what you'll see is, is like, as I'm doing this, like my hand's gonna get stuff all over it because basically I'm just, I'm knocking away all the, the burnt off, singed off hair. But you can see like, I mean, like, look, it's already looking cleaner right off the bat. So. Let's say this area right here, right? Look at that. Okay, we got some frizz, all nasty, right? Boom. Cleans it up just like that. Now, let's show you with a wet dread. We'll do, we'll do a more dry dread right here, right? So, like, see a lot of frizz along this area here. Could you palm roll this? Yeah, this is, this is definitely manageable palm roll. But let's say you don't have time. Let's say you have to go to a wedding. Let's say you have... It's some big important day and you want to look your best. You want your dreads to be the cleanest, tightest. Maybe your family hasn't seen, your, seen you with your dreads yet and you want to like go and be like, look, I have really clean, tight dreads. This could be a reason to do that, right? So here we see a lot of frizz. It's just like loose hairs, right? The thing is you don't want to burn off. You don't want to do this. The reason you don't want to do this all the time is, is because at some point if you keep doing it all the time, you're gonna, you're, it's going to basically burn off the hair that should be binding into the dread, causing a thicker dread. So if you do it all the time, you're obviously going to thin your dreads out. But if you do it once a year, once every three years, once every, even once every six months, you're probably going to be okay. It's not that big of a deal, really. So watch. All this loose hair here, let's go. And this is, remember, this is on the dry dreads. So the wet dread, so much easier. Also, what you'll find is, too, this is what I'll show you here. So I'm only going to like along the edge of the dread. I'm not holding it in the dread, right? So I'm holding it just on the edge of the dread. So the fly was there. Like that, right? Watch. Flyways are pretty much gone. Now I have a couple here if I wanna if you wanna get real tight with it, you could do, you know, I could like get all of them, but the flyways are pretty much gone. And some of here I can't really see because I'm not I'm looking in the camera. Um but the flyways are pretty much gone. But also what you're gonna find out is this is that when you burn the hair off, it so when you burn it off, it obviously singes the hair. I don't know if you can see it's my hand right there, like some of these like little chunks. Right there, I see. Right there. So what, what basically what happens is when it, you're burning it, the hair singes and it kind of curls. Like, like if you have like rope or something, you burn it, it kind of singes up and forms like a weird little, like kind of knot on the end of the hair. Um, when you pummel that back in, I find that it's almost like Velcro where it kind of like, it becomes like a hook almost. So when I'm pummeling it back in, it actually tightens, the, it makes the dread look much tighter and they, they, seem, they seem to stay nicer way longer, uh, probably because the, the hair is locking better, in my opinion. That's the way it seems to work for me, right? But let's see, we have a wet hair. This one, this is a wet dread right here, right? So the nines go like this. It's literally just burning off the edge of the, the loose hairs, because the rest of the dread's wet, so it's not gonna burn. The only thing that's gonna burn is the, it's the, the, the few loose hairs, because they're not as saturated as the, the rest of the dread, they're gonna burn off easy. So then you just go, go up and down the dread basically like this. Once again, if you have thin dreads, may not wanna do this. If you have really wispy dreads, may not wanna do this. Look at that. You can see it automatically cleans up the dread and then once you wash it, so you burn. What I do is I wet my hair, I burn it, obviously then I wash it because you want your hair to smell like burnt, burnt hair, burnt wet hair, or burnt hair. Um, so then, yeah, I'll, I'll wet it down, burn it, scrub it all up. <laughs> Sound effects, high class here. Um, yeah, you, you you scrub it all up, and you're gonna notice when, when you, obviously when you when you wash your hair, um, there's gonna be a lot of burnt blackness coming out of your hair because you burn your hair. It's like, you know, you basically charcoal your hair. It happens, though. It's part, it's part of the process of, of burning your hair, right? So, because these are saturated, like you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much, I don't have to be as careful because they're wet. Look at that. And people are going to say, oh, I've never done that, or it's really bad for your hair. I mean, I'm not saying it's great for your hair, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. And I can tell you this, 
A lot more people have done it than are going to admit to it. So basically, I'm pretty sure by now you're probably getting the idea. I'll do a couple more here, see if we can find some more that are really let go. I would say your thickest dreads are probably the best dreads to do, obviously. Um, even The thing is, too, like you don't have to do all of your dreads. If you just do your thick dreads, or the ones that, uh, that you have the most of, or like the, the ones that are less likely to burn, even that overall, if you do a majority of the one, the big ones, when you pull it back, or whatever, they're gonna overall they're gonna look cleaner and tighter because you're getting a, you're getting rid of most of the frizz, you know. It's like this one right here. This one, like, okay, this is a perfect example, right? As you can see, it's wet. Um, so you can see all the frizz here, right? Like you palm all that in, or you're in a hurry, right? So you're like, oh, I'm in a hurry. I don't want to have to worry about this. So you just go like this. I'm sure people are going to criticize this and be like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You're so stupid, whatever. But guess what? I've had my dreads longer than you have, probably. If you've had your dreads less than I have, or, you know, like a year or two years or five years, I don't want to hear you criticize me because you don't know. You don't know. I've had it for 20 years and I have done this once or twice before. That's how I know it works. Now, like I said, I don't recommend it all the time, but occasionally it's not so bad. Look at that, and watch, like this. Also, you're probably gonna make a mess on your countertop below because all the ash is coming off, but as you can see, so like this is where I started. I even roll it around, look at that, clean. And it gets to flyaways again. All right, flyaways, watch this. Oh, you're ruining your hair. Well, it's dreadlocks. Here's the thing about hair, it's already dead as soon as it leaves your scalp, so this is all dead hair anyway. The conditioners tell you like, oh, we'll bring your hair back to life. It does not, it's, it's dead hair. Then, so as you can see, like there's still like little flyaways here, but if I want to, I could obviously burn those off or I can right now, you know, give a palm roll. So as you can see, I think we've all learned something here. I'm not as crazy as I sound sometimes. Maybe I am, I don't know. But the advice I give, like I'm not, obviously I always say, do what works best for you. Um, find what works best for you and do it. And if you wanna have natural crazy dreads, wild dreads, go for it, that's your thing, that's your hair. If you wanna have clean, tight dreads, go for it, that's your thing, it's your hair. Um, but I just don't like when people criticize ideas or different, uh, different things they've never tried before. Like, oh, that's such a bad idea, you can't do that. You'll ruin your hair, you'll burn your hair off. Or one of the girls said, like, my client tried it, and, or her friends tried it, and they, you know, be careful, I can go lighter one, obviously. Uh, my, my friend tried it, or my client tried it, or her friends did it to her hair, and they burnt one of her dreads off. Well, clearly, they didn't do it properly. They didn't know what they were doing. Uh, you don't want to use, like, a blowtorch or, like, a butane torch or anything that has a high, high uh, heat or high flame. Use a Bic lighter, or any cheap lighter, really. It doesn't have to be Bic. Um, so use a, a cheap lighter. Just go up and down the frizz. It's that simple. Don't hold the flame over any one spot too long, obviously. Just give a little, little dick a doo like that, and then just whoop. look at that. Oh no, it's gonna burn the dread. No, it's not, because it's just the frizz. Just the frizz is coming off. It's not burning, you're not burning the integrity of the dread. I would never recommend burning the integrity of the dread. Obviously, once again. Be safe, do it lightly, wet the dreads, don't do it often, but on occasion if you have to do it, I understand. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Don't criticize someone for doing it. I think it's ridiculous. Greener pastures. Um, but yeah, just, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's totally doable. If you're in a bind and you're like, oh, I don't want to wax my hair or I'm feeling super lazy, I haven't done my hair in quite some time, I haven't done it in a while, whatever, I don't want to, I don't feel like going to the, the loctician. I want to do my own dreads, but I, I, I need to look nice. Just, it's, it's okay occasionally to do it. I'm, I'm, I don't recommend doing it all the time, but on occasion, it's all right. I'm in quarantine, you know, like I'm in quarantine for months. Oh, I can't get my dreads done. Obviously I do my own, but someone else, I can't get my dreads done. You know, like, oh, I gotta, I want to look tidy though. I might have a friend come over, a friend. But definitely make sure after you're done, So fast and easy. Obviously, don't do on the thin dreads because you could you ruin the, ruin the dread. But yeah, like this. It's just so fast and easy. But obviously, yeah, 100%. Don't 
wash your hair when you're done because uh, it is going to smell like burnt hair. Look at that. Ridiculously clean dreads. If you have thick dreads, you could probably do it a little more often if you really wanted to. I mean, I, I, once again, I don't recommend doing it often, but thick, you have thick dreads, you're not, it's going to be easier to do because you have more to burn off, you know? If you have thinner dreads, obviously, burning off too much is a bad idea. Actually, I think this is a dry, dry dread too, but it's right. You can't burn your dreads. No, no, you can. You totally can. Like, I talked to a guy, his name was Jordan. He was, um, like a sound guy or a, a roadie for Cage the Elephant. Um, back in the day when we used to be friends. Um, I talked to Jordan and one day he's like, hey man, you ever burn your dreads? And I was like, heard about it, I've never tried it. And after that, I tried it one day and I was like, oh, it's not, it's not as crazy as, as it sounds, you know? So yeah, I'm not claiming that I created this because I did not. But I've definitely tried it before. Not often because I don't want to lose a lot of the integrity of my dread, but you're singeing it. All right, there you go, guys. This has been a fun video for me. I had to play with fire, I had to burn my dreads. It now smells like burnt hair in here, but that's all right, because I'm gonna take a shower after this anyway. So I think I'm gonna actually I'll probably burn up a couple more because it's been a, it's been a minute since I've done it. Um, maybe a year or so or more, probably. And I don't really feel like doing my dreads right now during quarantine, so I'm just gonna burn some of the loose ones off. I don't really have a lot, a lot, but you know what, I'll find some in here. Some of these bigger ones, like right there. Let's see, we'll do one more. We'll do one more, because why not, right? Is black leather gonna work? Okay, it works. Ready, it's a close, close up shot. Give a little roll. Just like that. It does help, uh, this one's getting wet. My hand's getting wet too. Um, it does help if you roll the dread a little bit, just to kind of get all the frizz. And so you're not keeping the concentrated heat on one spot, but look at that. Done, not done. Going all the way with this one. So this one, the lighter starts to get hot. Oh, that one's not gonna work. Switch lighters. That's why it's good to have two lighters on hand. Ready? As you can see, like this one, there was a lot of a lot of loose flyaways, so I burnt that much hair off. But that was also down the entire dread. So it's not like I burnt all that hair off one spot. Like, I mean, that was, that did my entire dread. Um, so you're gonna get a couple little, a few more hairs there like that. But overall, I mean, like, I, as you can still see, the dread's still pretty thick. Was this the right one? I don't know if this is the right one or not. Um, I think it might be, but let's see. But yeah, as you can see, the dread's still thick. I mean, I could frizz off a little more there. The dread's still thick. I mean, this is a good, it's lighter for comparison. All right, so it's a pretty thick dread. Um, it's fine. So there you go, guys. That is how you burn your dreads. I'm not just throwing out crazy advice. I definitely, if I talk the talk, I walk the walk. That's how it is. It is possible to do. But just make sure you'd be safe about it. Don't do it often. Make sure your hair is wet. Don't burn your house down. Don't burn your scalp. Don't definitely, and that's the other thing I guess I forgot to mention. Good thing I brought that up there. Because you don't want to do it right here. Because this is where the hair is growing out of the scalp. If you burn this off, that definitely is going to ruin the integrity of the dreadlock. You do not go this far. So I would say, even even with the new growth, don't go, like, I would say, like, you know, like, right from, give it an inch or so, two inches, three inches, and burn the rest of it. Don't go all the way up to the scalp, because you burn this, that's going to ruin your dreads for sure. You don't want to do that. That's, like, a big, big mistake. So hopefully everyone watches this video to the very end, because I'll probably put some uh, warnings down below, too. But, yeah, definitely don't burn here. You don't want to burn this, because this will ruin your dreadlocks. You only want to burn the main part of the dread, because... People aren't going to see a lot of the flyaways at the beginning, at the roots anyway, because those are going to be done when you when you tighten your dreads. When you're doing the the hat rub method, you're going to be tightening up all those loose hairs right there anyway. So that's not you don't want to burn that part. You only want to burn the parts further down. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, Charles Mabe. You can email me if you have questions. Charles Mavi at Gmail, but uh, Instagram is probably the easiest. Most people will tell you. I get back to you really quickly because I'm on Instagram all the time. Uh, if you guys want to do a live chat, please let me know, and we can do a live chat at some point. 
either on Instagram Live or we can do a Zoom or whatever, and we can all talk about dreadlocks, ask me questions, whatever you want. Let me know. You've got my contact information, and have a good weekend, guys. Bye.